Now mind is the is that which is the conceptualization of that which can be. It is incredibly creative in that it is eternally open to imagination of possible alternatives and developments to what is or what could be. It is the creative force of God. And we draw on that they are the thoughts that come to us. They all come from God. They are the evidence of His presence in the creation. In fact, the creation is the evidence of that which God has thought and is continuing to think and add to and create. To have the mind of God is to have the freedom of access to his, to say the least, vast creativity. What you think is everything to what happens in the creation that you find yourself. For the mind to be effective in prayer, it simply has to think in harmony with the mind of God. In other words, draw out from God's mind that which is appropriate, that which is in harmony with, if you like, God's will, God's creativity. And we're privileged to be a party to this creativity that we may practice and mature as heavenly beings. Thank you, Dad. You see, the mind is a tiny window into God's mind, and it's so restricted of view that in its imagination it eternally thinks it's mastered things and got the, the fullness of the entirety of God's view, and of course it hasn't. It is incredibly lacking in humility because it is a child. And uh, children in their fantasy um, perceive themselves as everything that they wish to see themselves as. And of course they keep stumbling on the reality of um, you know, you can't jump off this height of wall and not hurt yourself. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and, uh, and now we have a sort of slightly wider view of God's understanding. Oh, you can't do that. Don't do that. That's not permitted. We don't want our caution to stop us exploring the imagination. and our experience. But we don't want so much imagination and experience that it wipes ourselves out, of course. There are practices, if you like, and conceptions 
that help open our window on God's mind wider and wider. And the major one Jesus gave us, of course, quite simply, is that God is our Heavenly Father. Call him Father a hundred times in John's Gospel alone. Mm. Trying to make a point. We can grasp uh, others like love one another. This is some. Um, take this on board and you find you're opening the window wider than if you don't. Pursue integrity and honesty and peace and all the list you unite. And you'll find the window into God's mind is opening wider and wider. In the end, you appear to be a master of life. You know how to achieve that which furthers life and helps it and enriches and encourages and nurtures it. You're becoming an adult. You're increasingly having full access to the mind of God because he wants you to be an equal with himself. Not himself, but equal. A wonderful being like himself with the understanding and power but of course in complete harmony with himself and all the other members of his family, the host of heaven. <laughs> so, you and I are still in our childhood. No, yeah, but we're doing all right. <laughs> trust him. Very important to trust him. You have good reason to, if you see him as your dad. Your perfect heavenly dad. You get all things on the right foundation. This is the foundation really for us. There may be other foundations you can use. Perhaps the perfect friend. Or the divine mother relationship. I mean. I'm not saying that I've got exclusivity. There are perhaps many, many windows. Perhaps... Every separate life, transitory or eternal, has a different window, slightly, a slightly different view of God, or what we might say a personal, individual relationship with God according to your individuality. You see, he wants many. Didn't want to be the only wonderful being in the universe, beyond the universe. In absolute terms, the only wonderful being. Wanted fellowship, friends, family, call it what you like. I'm communicating, aren't I? You know what I mean. Didn't want to be alone. Wanted the joy and the fun of interaction with persons like himself as blessed as himself, equal, that we might all be a great joy together in a wonderful harmony. If you can think of something better than this to pursue, well, do let me know. <laughs> and do all you can <laughs> to encourage such. Bless you.